guys, it's Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. I'm going to take a look at your weekend love messages. This is going to be for July 28th through the 31st. All right, so please be mindful. Some of the messages may or may, res may, or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. And yeah, let's take a look here. And just so you know, I am back and I am doing daily love readings, okay? And then on Thursdays, a weekend. And then I will do my best to try to upload for the individual signs. Okay, so the first card out, starting for the weekend, you have 10 of, yeah, 10 of Pentacles, my goodness. Okay, unexpected financial windfall. So somebody, so this could be love in general. Um, there's money coming in. Somebody's getting the keys to a house or a business. Um, let's see, a lump sum. Maybe you're gonna hit the lottery. So, you know, that I think that... <laughs> I think that lotto is up to 1 billion. So go play those numbers, you guys. It looks like somebody here might get some type of a winning. Okay, there's trust funds being released to you or an inheritance. Um, let's see. Somebody's getting a job, okay, or will be working um, in real estate, doing open houses, having a lot of people show up, um, or putting together an open house for the weekend. That looks like it's going to do well. Okay, looks like it's going to do well. There may even be um, a, a, a finance, or not financial, like a, a family get together over the weekend as well. Okay, some business meetings that look very positive. Okay, um, let's see. Connecting with, you know, some of you might be connecting with your ancestors or uh, some grandparents or parents or great grandparents or family. Okay, um, I'm just hearing somebody's doing an ancestry kind of doing like some DNA testing and or either getting results back for a DNA test of some sort. Um, it's going to be pretty surprising. <laughs> some of you are going to find out you're either connected to some royalty or um, there's like a long line of old money. Okay, interesting, interesting. <laughs> interesting weekend okay look at that so a lot of pentacle energy here so i'm seeing money flowing in possibly even starting thursday and friday the 28th and the 29th um wealth i'm seeing wealth okay i, I like it um, building an empire thriving high status stability people looking at looking to you for security um you know being a good being able to provide I, i'm just the overall message i'm feeling for the weekend i know this is love this could have something to do with an earth sign virgo taurus capricorn who's very wealthy you could be connecting with this person over the weekend there could be marriage um uh, it's I'm not it, it has something to do with marriage or uh, a very secure relationship okay you could be meeting somebody over the weekend as well where there's a business contracts or financial decisions that look very promising there's security culmination and security okay so that's a three of swords so for some of you this could be a divorce that is um gonna have a nice big payout <laughs> um I'm, there might be some sadness connected to this in in some way um some grief or some sorrow um but at the same time i feel like gosh i hate to say it like this but it feels like the payoff is going to be huge for the loss you know what i mean there's i'm, I'm feeling like compensation huge compensation okay let me see there might have been um maybe an argument or some kind of loss of some sort could be lawsuits or something and uh, a payout coming in or receiving like an inheritance fund of some sort okay all right yep here you go ace of pentacles i'm telling you this like a financial a financial new beginning okay you could be separating or divorcing from someone and it has it's there's a connection to business finances career money stability financial security okay i see that coming in here for you there's abundance so you're receiving something over this weekend okay some type of um huge financial opportunity or a new business starting a new business ending one starting another getting keys going off on your own self-employment 
um, getting gaining your first client or customer over the weekend that's got a lot of money to offer or is going to pay you very well for something. It's crazy. So on the love front, I do feel this might have more to do with possibly um, a divorce or separation. Okay more on the love front so if that's not your story don't worry i'm going to keep going here to see what else might show up for you let's see okay so here you go so there's the knight of cups okay there's a romantic offer proposal that's coming in over this weekend for you as well while all this is going on if it's happening to you it may not be happening to you but there is definitely it's, it's one or the other or both okay um someone's coming in here sweeping you off your feet could be some dating look at that two of cups so there's a connection being made over the weekend <sighs> there's a date <clears throat> there's coming into <clears throat> coming into harmony or meeting someone or um, some of you might already be involved and you're going through a separation or divorce and uh, now there, there's freedom to continue a particular relationship which looks very promising um, uh, the, I'm picking up here, picking up Taurus, Libra, uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Virgo, uh, Capricorn. Okay. Oh, and here we go. There's a Libra in energy again. Okay. Some of you might be connecting with a Libra. There's some truth, structure, routine. Um, somebody showing up, um, showing up more in the uh, masculine energy here. Okay very ethical someone with morals <laughs> integrity um a lot of, you're, you're having there's a love offer coming in with with someone um they might even be proposing marriage or engagement of some sort or um going exclusive i see you um connecting with this person and there's a mutuality between the two of you there's like potential soulmate energy here there this is someone that you guys are like on the same page it's very beautiful energy it's very beautiful love truth and creative expression showing up oh my god oh sorry oh my goodness that's so loud i'm so sorry and now you've got the ten of cups i'm telling you oh my gosh the knight of cups the two of cups the ten of cups and the king of swords okay male or female energy libra aquarius gemini uh showing up with very airy uh, powerful authoritative type of a person um, good manners or it might be a little bit intimidating uh, to some degree but not crazy intimidating it depends on what sign they are um, but they come in a kind of a cool a cool cat I'm hearing this person's kind of a cool cat but they're very romantic they also have an energy they, like so much romance with this person um, and I'm picking up um, could be a lawyer maybe some of you <laughs> maybe you're divorcing and you're getting involved with the lawyer who's handling your divorce i don't know um but if that's not the case you know these could be two separate things you know just pick out the messages that resonate for you the most or the best like i said it doesn't have to be a divorce it could be an ending of um a family business or a business and and um you know starting over in some way or um, going off on your own or changing jobs changing careers and receiving a new opportunity and have and breaking away from telling your boss but at the same time simultaneously <laughs> there's love there's beautiful love okay there's happiness family a reunion for some of you over this weekend some communication from someone who comes in with um air energy it doesn't have to be an air sign but family gatherings uh, it could be a wedding you're going to over the weekend you could be meeting this person or um, you could be at an event and you, you somebody you know proposes to another person and then that like instigate all, all this love energy uh, a long-term relationship stability and security coming for you over the weekend this is nice okay let me see all right you have the empress here okay all right somebody's mom is showing up here um hmm. okay or um there could be pregnancy so if you're not trying to get pregnant you know watch out for that um let's see you could find out that there's pregnancy over the weekend um let's see uh chasing creative passions uh art 
Some of you might be um, very creative over the weekend doing something with beauty. Maybe you work in the beauty industry or um, It, there's I'm just picking up like a very rebellious energy as well so you could be um, have some type of revolutionary ideas creative ideas that um, you're gonna start implementing over this weekend uh, I feel like um, uh, <laughs> there's uh, they just said there's no shame in your game uh, tell them there's no shame in your game okay I feel like this might be something that you're kind of hesitant to do, but then you just say, screw it, I'm going to do it. If it's something to do with like getting pregnant or having a child or thinking about doing that, some of you might be passing through the end of your um, reproductive years and uh, you're, you're feeling, <laughs> I don't know, how can I say this? You're feeling horny maybe in some way <laughs> or you're cycling through this stuff but you're you're kind of like trying to keep hold yourself back <laughs> over the weekend you could be connecting with someone that you're, you just get you know you're very very passionate about um let's see <laughs> okay the death card yeah you're transitioning out of something i just heard um one last hurrah i don't know what that means one last hurrah some kind of um unexpected change is happening and you've got a you definitely have new beginnings happening here okay scorpio and double sagittarius so you've got um i feel like you're kind of like should i do this or should i not and i feel like you just you're hesitant for a moment because you're kind of conflicted in your mind about you're conflicted in your mind about something over this weekend um but and it might have something to do with this knight of wands where being a bit adventurous and hasty and spontaneous um whatever it might be i feel like there's something trying to cycle out and there's one last thing you need to do and i feel like for you it's kind of like oh i'm so drained of this but I need to do this I'm almost I, I'm almost at the end I need to do this and to do this will then actually complete the circle I don't know exactly like I said it could have something to do with fertility motherhood um, creativity beauty art uh, something to do with nature uh, being outside this is like a should I or shouldn't I like you're a little bit hesitant um, there might be uh there might be something here like um going back to somebody and connecting with someone over the weekend that it's kind of like one last maybe closure it might have something to do with closure or but being physically intimate with someone and then like that's the close out like that's it and then the death card is here and and that that's the end of it I, it's a weird situation it's, it's not weird it's it's just a message it might be very specific for someone okay here um let me see what is the love message here for you okay release your ex yeah so some of you are letting go of an ex partner or someone from your past and um, there might be a connection with this person over the weekend, someone from your past, but it's, it's kind of fleeting. And that there's hesitancy about connecting with this person or talking with this person. Um, it could be a mother figure. Um, it could be like something about going to see a mother. Um, she might be ill, and that's only if you know about this. Um, but rushing by her side um, uh, it's a heavy message I mean it could be like this is only I, I'm not predicting you're gonna find out your mother's ill and that's gonna be the end of it I feel like you may already know about this and then going to see her um, to give support you know that kind of thing that kind of thing going on um, now this could be your own mother it could be a grandmother it could be someone who you know that has children or is pregnant okay um now and for others uh, letting go of 
Oh, okay. They just said some of you are going to the, are reaching out or talking to your ex's partner or spouse to get some information. Because remember I was saying closure. Um, I don't know how this is going to come about. Um, somebody here might be thinking about contacting their ex's spouse or ex's whoever um, to get some information about something because there's something that needs to come to an end, right? Um, you might be the one who's talking to this person um, to find out something. I just heard to find out if your ex was cheating on you with their their partner um, before you guys were over. I, I just feel like there was some there's some kind of information that's um, trying to be found out here. Okay, so that it's something to do with death. It's something to do with trying to be able to move out of a situation. Okay, um, or talking to a mother figure about something. Let me see here. So there's definitely this releasing of the X energy. Even if you've already done that, this is whatever residual of energy is left over. I feel like getting that, getting rid of that over the weekend. And then with somebody new here showing up, I just feel like you're transitioning out of things. I really do. Um, out of a career or a job or a financial situation and there's another there's an opportunity coming for you over this weekend also there's um it feels like new love or a recommitment or a friendship turning into or or a dating partner turning into more of um a committed relationship heading towards um marriage exclusivity long term and also um just kind of going back to check one more thing um, in your past to get some information so something could be closed out. So it's a, it's a lot of releasing of past energies, okay, in all areas. You're, you're making big changes, bold moves. You might be relocating um, with a partner or you could be relocating and, and meeting someone in a new place that you're living. Okay, I love it. I mean, it just feels like everything when you look back in your past everything in, in your past situation it's like you're just kind of hopping over the fence now in new pastures in all areas of your life okay forgiving and learning okay yeah releasing and healing the past to experience more love in your present moment so this is what i feel like is going on it's not just releasing your ex it's, it's releasing everything external ex external to you from before forgiving and learning and letting go healing and wow opening like it's like the horizon opening up for you here it's beautiful um some of you may be letting go of some codependency issues as well that you might have experienced in the past a lot of changes over this weekend and there's a heart-to-heart -heart conversation also so being able to honestly discuss your feelings with someone and that person having a heart-to-heart -heart with you so expect that over the weekend as well Okay, and there you are. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So I feel like it's like a, yeah, it's like you're crossing a threshold over this weekend in, in all areas or, or you're beginning that process or thinking about this and beginning the process to do these things. And all the while, um, maybe you're being enticed because there's new love and now you feel like you can do this or just love in your life is actually happening. You might be remarrying at this time in your life, letting go of things, forgiving and, and uh, letting go, uh, forgiving and learning um, something to do with mom, grandma, um, an ex, uh, a spouse who, uh, you know, someone who maybe mother of your children, um, putting things behind you. I love this energy. I think your weekend is just... I feel like your weekend, it's interesting because on the 28th, which is today, this evening, as I'm doing this reading, is a new moon. So this is what's going on here. There's all this uh, new beginnings happening here for you. This new moon energy on the weekend, this is what's happening. You might be going through these pro uh, these changes right now, releasing things right now. And, have, and I feel like you're going to feel the energy shift heavily 
beginning on the 28th throughout the weekend and until I'm going to say the until August 19th, right? So from now through August 19th, especially the energy is going to just be all this shift until the last quarter uh, moon. So wonderful, wonderful. So I hope that was helpful. I hope they gave you a little insight. I will see you guys back here Sunday evening. Have a wonderful weekend and take care.